let's get it we have the celestial tier it's our number one through five positions we have tsl in first of course factory reset in second friendly in third dps moving up two positions breaking into the fourth place and the celestial tier and then wolf blood in fifth uh which is pretty nice um and so good on them yeah uh one we've been making fun of dps uh for not being special so far this season and they by golly they've done it i don't know how they did it they must have been snorting something and here they are at number four two positions they pushed forced out that's impressive. they pushed forced out dude yeah uh and now wolf falls to fifth but uh, Wolf Blood doing good. I do have bad news. Theron has left Wolf, a long time notable player. Uh, he's departed in the past. He's gone to um, Babel, I think. <laughs> Babel. I think that's actually it. I don't know. Anyway, he's now departed for Sanctuary. Um, and I don't know what that means for Wolf Blood, but we still got Dagon going strong and a, and a couple of core other members there, including me because I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a hoss. You know what I mean? Like a like sixteen hundred NPC kills a week, but anyway, uh, yeah, I mean that's a huge shakeup. Now DPS yeah. is the best PVE guild once again in the shield here. Pretty awesome. That's all I got. Good on them. That's that is impressive. All right, yeah. legendary. We have a whole lot of movement. Oh boy! Uh, 60 10th place positions. Six. We have the force who've dropped out of the celestial tier because of DPS. Seventh place is Sanctuary, moving up two positions, absolutely grinding it. Eighth place is Prostor, they drop down one. Shadow Garden dropped down one as well into ninth, and still friendly too, busting into legendary tier. Uh, mm -hmm. Finally coming back up strong. Good on them. Yeah. Uh, so Force, unfortunate for them. I don't think they weren't really doing much in the special tier when they were there, but now to see them in legendary, it probably won't be forever. Force is like. If you think Mur Murder of the Universe is like that slow going train, you know, uh, the force is the same exact way. It just doesn't look like it when they're in Celestial amongst the giants, right? But unfortunate for them, it's not going to be forever. Sanctuary is now moving up to number seven. Um, they they believe they can beat TSL. Uh, we'll see. We got the credit card katanas coming out. Uh, but two positions forward, dropping Prostor and Shadow Garden. One of the newbies guilds in the game. I don't know how they're still around in Legendary tier at all. Uh, rumor has it that every single one of their members it has exams for like the whole year. Like school never ends for them, and they're just in the exam mode the, the whole time. And Shadow Gar you know, Shadow himself is like pooping blood because he's so stressed. Uh, but unfortunate for him, Prosor still a strong guild. Probably doesn't mean much for them. And then still friendly too, moving up a position. You know, one of the 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 friendly. The, the fly, you know, um, what do they call them? The fly family or some shit? Uh, yeah, it's one of them. I don't know who, but congrats on number 10. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who's in that one again? <laughs> Good lord. Let's just move on. <laughs> Is Kasu in that one? <laughs> Epic tier. I keep seeing, I keep seeing Kasu, so it's like I'm picking on him, dude. <laughs> Epic tier, 11 through 15. The Knights who say he gets knocked down into the Epic tier here. Heaven and Hell just sticking into that 12th place position. Resolve actually moving up three positions in the 13th place. Same with the Unknown moving up three positions, breaking into the Epic tier as well. Uh, congrats to them and 14th. And then Murderers of the Universe dropping down to 15th. Honestly, I'm I'm really impressed by the Unknown. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they're so unknown, I don't even know who they are. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Yi dropping, that's unfortunate. It's a guild that's kind of... It's a mid. They it's a that. mid legacy guild. They do it. Yeah, they they drop. Heaven and hell not moving at all. Um, but still, another legacy guild that has made a resurgence uh, since last season. So we'll see how they do. Resolve moving three positions forward once again, reclaiming what they've lost. Uh, I a little birdie told me that they were the Resolve guild members in the Simple Mode Discord were very spicy and might get banned. <laughs> so we'll see. What's going on? Uh, but they said some very. Uh oh. We've said we've said we've talked about before where 
Mike does, you know, he avoids chat now because everyone targets him who wants to target him. Well, Resolve kind of did that a little bit in, in the official Discord, and I saw the screens. It was very cringe, and I couldn't believe these big dogs uh, would just, like, undermine themselves like that and act a fool. So rest in peace, Resolve. Uh, this might, you know, you might be dead. Uh, unknown, good for them. Three three spaces forward. I mean, sick. And then Merza, there's Merza of the Universe. This is probably the lowest they've dropped. Uh, this is the lowest we've seen them in quite a while. So I'm a little nervous for them. It'll be like the last week and they're just like 20 positions forward. But I'm a little nervous. That's all I got. <laughs> all right. Moving on. We have Elite tier. 16 through 20. D... GK Demolition's Great Kingdom has dropped down into the elite tier. Unfortunately, Italia has also <laughs> dropped down into the elite tier, uh, going 17th. Frontier is the only one who's moved up one position to 18th. Asgard has mm -hmm. dropped down to 19th, unfortunately, and Helheim is just holding out, chilling out on 20th. Yeah, just being a, a chill tier two guild. Uh, Kamo's dreaming under me, and he's like, <laughs> he's going, oh, oh, he's like whimpering. It's just. Because of the thunderstorm, he's like under my desk, and I have really bad posture right now. Uh, DGK falling to 16, not even surprised. Okay, DGK is a noob guild. Uh, Italia, fake Italians falling four positions, not surprised either at number 17. Frontier moving forward, there's, there's some hope. There's some hope here for uh, tier two because it's not Asgard anymore. <laughs> you see what I did there? I do that for Jason. I love Jason. But Asgard has fallen so far down, you just forget that they were just so monumental a season ago. And it's just like now we're here in the graveyard dropping roses on Jason Chief's freaking headstone, dude. Like, rest in peace, Jason. Your guild has been abandoned. And then Helheim's doing Helheim things. Classic. I'm not wrong. All right, trash tier. 21 through 25 place positions. My favorite guild, Zenith Kites, moved up one position. Hell yeah. Uh, but that does mean that last day I'm Sushi's dropped down one position. Oh, 22. God, don't say it. 23 is uh, Black Dragon. 24 is Brazil Grind. And 25 is Golden Arrow. It's showing back up. <laughs> <laughs> what the f Good on Golden Arrows. Give Bro, us that when life. will you... When will you die as a guild? When will you die? <laughs> <laughs> Never. Uh, I can't believe ZZK is just doing their thing this whole time. Yeah. I just uh, I, I always expect this guild to like, after they blew up once, mm -hmm. I did not think they would be better than when they were blown up. Like, <laughs> uh, Last Sam Sushi is like one of my newest favorite guilds. They show up to the stepping stream. Uh, Beastie was here earlier. Uh, I love that group. Hate to see that they dropped, but I'm not really worried for them. Um, I mean, them and Black Dragon are very neck and neck in total EXP, but I think they're fine. I think they have a really good following and they have a really good crew. Uh, and then Brazil Grind, they dropped and then they've been stable ever since. So we'll see what that's about. Golden Arrows, man, I am just really, <laughs> I'm just really confused of what the hell they're doing. Um, it's like, Ajid still has pride in the guild which they should it's a legacy guild it used to be a, se a celestial tier guild okay this was an insane guild back in its day mm -hmm. but he's he still has pride attached to golden arrows but like no one else is really playing in golden arrows like if you go to their member list it it's, does not look good like ace is literally just like on life support somewhere i don't it, he's busy he grew up he's he grew up so don't know don't know what to think um uh, but yeah so that's the top 25 Let's move on to the Celestial tier. Or what did the I just say? Celestial tier 2. Tier. Let's move on to tier 2. There you That's go. It's a Celestial tier, dude. Let's go back up. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'll just run through this really quickly. So Slums was the guild that got dropped out of the top 25. Rest in peace forever. You'll never recover at 26. So 27, we have Alpha and Omega, who's yet to recover from getting kicked out. Eternal Flame is Welski's guild. They have moved one position up to 28. Wolf has continued to decline. Another guild that was in the top 25 for the longest time. Mm -hmm. Stefan Chill is here. Um, I don't think they're ever going to leave tier two at this point. Dante's Inferno, same thing. They've kind of, they, a lot of these guilds have been stagnant. Uh, Teletubby still one of the funniest guild names to see on the board. Who the hell did this? And then they pick a spear as their icon. Heck yeah. 
<laughs> at, they're just like violent deli w's dude at 32 33 we have demon lord's army 34 a new guild has hopped into the scene into the tier two called a black heart with the uh you know cloud from final fantasy sword they say it's not but it is uh wow two positions up good for them and then blazing beast how the frick vex how is your guild still in the freaking t is is 36 and beyond like a, a wasteland what is going on dude how the hell does has no one passed blazing beast they earn like 300 exp or less a week <laughs> like what the fuck standing strong <laughs> holding on uh but i love tier two we love tier two over here uh and any one of these guilds could potentially be the next you know um candidate for top 25 yep. you just you gotta give them time to cook yep yep gotta cook Gotta cook. Gotta cook. All right. Lead us into the outro, Crazy Fi. All of, right. Of the SGL. That concludes the SGL. We really appreciate everyone here watching, as well as everyone on the VOD squad who will come on later and watch the VOD. Thank you so much for that.